Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel. Today we're going to talk about using multiple catalogues, a job catalogue and a master catalogue. So, let's dive in. So folks, I'm just going to deal with the situation where people need to talk about having a master catalog so that you can search and you can also have your master catalog uploadable to Lightroom CC. So uh, in this case here, I have a master catalog which are called master and here we have some images. Now these images are from a job, a job catalog as it so happens. And the idea with this is that you can easily get any jobs specific catalog with this. Now I only have the one job in here. We're going to import a few more to show you how it works. I think by repetition, you'll understand very quickly how it works. So by doing command arrow or control or I can go to the folder uh, that these files are in. You can see it's in the folder called job one. And if we just scroll down here to these, to the bottom, I can see I've got a job one catalog. If I double click on that and I relaunch with that, we will now open up into the original job catalog. So there it is. these are the best images from the job catalog. And so when I go into the actual job catalog, there'll be far more images in it. So as, as we can see here, there is 61 images versus 23 images. Okay, so the idea is I can jump very quickly back to the catalog. These images are in the same place. So the master catalog references the same image file. So I will show you how to do that all in a second. So let us jump, let us go out of there all together for a second. And um, so let me just show this image here. I'll show you what, what we're gonna do that for a second. So I'm gonna go on command or and I'm gonna to go to job two. So I'm going to go to my second job catalog here because we're going to work in that and get stuff ready to go into the master catalog. So the key thing here is that I'm not going to the process of making the selections. I'm going to assume you've already done that and you're just this is all about the merging of catalogs. So I'm going to assume that you know what's going on in terms of selections and that your selections are made and now that you are going to be just merging catalogs. Uh, but very quickly, what I'm going to do is let's say, for example, here, um, I'm just going to I'm going to very quickly just pick some random images here. G for grid. And these don't particularly matter. They're not particularly important. I mean, well, that's got perhaps marked down. I'll mark that as a two. Right. So the idea here is that I've made my selects. I can now go to these and just filter by those selects. So I'm going to select these images here. I'm going to, I'm going to create a temporary catalog of these images. I'm going to go export as catalog. I'm going to call this, um, so this is job two, so job two temp. Job two temp. Now, the key thing here is that I do not want to export the negative files. Now you can include available previews, that's fine, but do not export the negative files. We want the negative files to stay where they are on the disk. This is key. So export catalog. So now that's going to export this temporary deletable catalog. We're just getting the information across to the master catalog here. So I'm going to go reopen my master catalog, conveniently called master. So we are now back in the master catalog. So I'm going to go file, import from another catalog. I'm going to go to job to temp and select that one. As we can see here, there's no images in that at all. Choose. Okay, and I'm just going to click import. That's it. And I, I don't know if you noticed that, but I did have add, which is the default. So these are now added. Okay. Now these are come in and I would say they are missing. So what we need to do is locate job two. And this is uh, 4551. So where are we now? Sorry, 3451. So that's that one there. Select. Okay, and that will bring them all together. Okay, we can now remove that one altogether. And on top of that, then we can come out here to the catalog and we can now uh, get rid of that. Okay, so now we're gonna go into job three and start with job three. We're going to go through this process again. So now we're in job three and in this one here, I've made some selects already here. So I'm just gonna filter by those selects select them exactly the same as we did a few minutes ago. 
and the idea with this is the repetition to show you how to do it. Export as catalog. Job three temp. And again, we do not have export negative files selected here. So we go export. Out it goes. And now we want them back in our master catalog. So we jump to our master catalog. And now we want to get our best images from that other job in. The idea is just that we're keeping our master catalog smaller than having all of the images in it. So we go File, Import from another catalog. Grab this temporary one again. Choose. So we're into Import. And look, File Handling here, Add New Photos Without Moving. This is key so we can find them. And I'm going to show you this process in a minute. Import. So we'll just bring them in. We don't need to see the previews. We know what they are. We're going to bring them in. It says they're missing, so we're just going to click on this to find the missing ones. So this is 27, 26, locate, and we know that it's going to be in the non-temporary catalog, uh, 27, 26, so down a bit here, where are we now? 27, 26, select, so it reconnects all of those ones, so they're in now. Now we can remove that, and of course we can delete the temporary folder as well and get rid of that. So we've one more to do here, and uh, that'll be the last one in the process. Just showing you how to do it again. So I'm going to go to job four, relaunch. So same story again here. We have some images from a different job, and then we're just going to select these. So these are the ones that we have as one start. These are just examples. They're not necessarily the best images, but they're just as an example as if they were selected. Some of them are it's exactly the same story. This is the whole point of the repetition to show you how it's done. So export as catalog, this is our temporary catalog. So you're saving the temporary catalog job for temp. Uh, again, no export negative files, that's not there. Export catalog, so it's gonna create these. See, very, very quick when we're doing this now. And then we go to our master catalog again. This will be the last time we're going to the master catalog. So, uh, well, maybe not, we'll see. Don't say never, just in case. So we want to get job four selects in. So import from another catalog. Again, it'll be from the temporary catalog that we just created. Temporary catalog, choose. Again, import. And now it says the images are missing. So locate them. 4925, which we know are in our job four catalog. Yeah, 25, select, and of course it's finding the other ones because find nearby photos is on. So they're all selected and we can now get rid of these. So here's what we have is we have these separate job folders. So as we see, if we want to go and see other files in any folder uh, at any stage, let's say we, we were looking at job two and we want to go back and check out the files that are in job two. So I can now just uh, right click or just do command or control or you can right click and select show and finder right, and that will then open up the folder with the image in it and we have the catalog file in that folder so by double clicking on that it will then open this one instead of the master so if we need to get at something or change something unless we need to go back and find out anything let's say there was some shots of aunt mary from a wedding that you wanted to find and you, you knew were in the catalog but they weren't in the selects because it was just a random shot of aunt mary but well, you can come in here now and turn off your filters and start looking for that in your job catalog. Okay, so you could find some of the non-selected images for something else if you needed them for something specific. And of course, to get back to the master catalog at any stage, you just find it in open recent. The other thing, of course, now is because you have all of your, uh, all of these images here together, let's say I go into job eight, for example, and I've looked at these, and I think this is a better one, better deserving of a portfolio shot. Let's say I'm gonna call this one a three, and let's say this one here, I, I, that's gonna be a three image. But I'm gonna show you this for, there's a reason I'm gonna show you this. So let's say I select this one here as a three. So now I can do stuff like come in here to collections, and I can create a smart collection um, of three stars, for example. So rating is greater than equal to three. Three star, create. 
So now the three star images show up and I'm able to s select in my job. So my master catalog is giving me the searchability that I need inside uh, a master catalog, but I can get to any job, but at the same time, I'm keeping a master catalog as a smaller uh, catalog so that the, it's inherently faster and I only have my best images. So I'm only ever finding my portfolio images or my client images, my delivered client images very, very quickly. Instead of having everything hanging around, you can have everything stored. So you get the advantage of a small catalog for the jobs. And then you have the master catalog to do stuff like sync to Lightroom CC online and to search inside it. So folks, I hope the repetition in that isn't too much for you, but I think the repetition is necessary for you to see if something works. So the key things with Iris, if your job folder with the images in the same folder, uh, you then create the temporary catalog of your best images when you've made your selects, and then you import that into your master folder and then reconnect the image files. Now the trick when you're creating the uh, temporary catalog that you're gonna import is that you have export negative files turned off. And then when you're doing the import from another catalog into the master catalog that you have add, f uh, add photos without moving, which is the old import from Lightroom 1 and 2. So hopefully some people find that useful that are looking at moving to that j catalog per job, but would like to have the benefits of having a master catalog as well and that this will help them with that. Thanks a million for watching folks. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell and all that stuff and share if you found it useful. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.